It's kinda dark out. I do think this fight of the light. Fight, fight of the light. light. This is a rough draft, but fuck it, the time goes right. Did you see my tail when that Chewy box showed up? Oh, I saw it. Sorry about the vase. Can we just say vase like normal people? <sighs> Fine. I always wonder what it would be like to have a tail. Maybe you did one time. Maybe a thousand years from now, I'll be tailless, using that Chewy app to get you grade prices on treats. I'm pretty sure it takes more than a thousand years. Vaz. Generated by the Earth's only evolution is black people. Those are the only racial types that we have on Earth that you don't see in people that come from other planets. And that makes... Oh, you got to understand, in order to possess the cosmic essence, you have to have melody. A specific component of melanin being neuromelanin, the one with the N, not the E. Caucasians only have pheomelanin, which is animal melanin. They cannot get above the animal plane conscious level. You see animals kill, they don't, a lion will kill you and don't lose no sleep. A gorilla will kill you, don't lose no sleep. A cobra will kill you, don't lose no sleep. The Caucasian is killing us and don't lose no sleep because they are physically composed of the same melanin phenotype of animals. They do not have the neuromelanin, which is um, manifested within the neuromelanin nerve track of the brain that allows you to connect to what you call God, the creator, whatever you identify with God as, and possess a conscience. Right? And I have no conscience. Now, why is this important? Because the pineal gland is crucial to the soul. The soul enters the body through the pineal gland. So, if your door is locked, you can't get in your house. 85% of Caucasians have calcified pineal glands and they also lack neuro and neuromelanin. So now why is it important? 85% of Caucasians have no have no gland within their brain that allows your soul to enter the body. So there is a level of let's say spirit that they can never access. They can never access the higher self. 85% of Caucasians, and I believe the number is way higher, but we're dealing with scientific statistics that they document that can be researched and referenced. Right. 85% of Caucasians cannot, their vehicles cannot uh, intake a soul. They have calcified by glands. The door to the body has been shut. And even if they did, they don't have neuromelanin. Neuromelanin is called neuromelanin because it has neurons. It has neurons that allow your thoughts to actually exit through the pineal gland and connect with the realm, the ether realm, non ether. When you hear people make these statements for cosmic melanin, and this is how you manifest, this is how you pray, this is how you connect to the creator. So even if the Caucasian doesn't have a cosmic pineal gland, they have no neuromelanin. So their thoughts can't connect to the creator. They have no cosmic affiliation. They have no cosmic soul. How do we know this as well? Melanin is condensed sunlight. Once the sun vibrates past 800 terahertz, it begins to condensate and combust and become melanin. Just like water goes from gas liquid to solid, sunlight goes from electricity and magnetism to light to melanin. So why is it important? We are the children of the sun. This is why we can connect to the solar system. This is why we are energized by the solar system and everything in nature. The Caucasian is not a naturally manifested humanoid being. Only Africans are 100% human. Caucasians are 96% human, 4% Neanderthal. They are genetically spliced and engineered. When we started to have